Why does it on this feel like the goalpost keeps moving? You achieve one goal only for another goal to crop up. I finished university, so I had to get a job. I got a job, so I had to move out of my parents' house into a studio apartment. I saw that my friends were living in better houses. Since I couldn't be left behind, I needed to move to a one-bedroom also. And then I realized that the job I got was not paying enough, so I had to get a better job. So I started applying for other jobs. Because we are age mates, I felt like I couldn't be left behind. And then I started asking myself, when it hit my turn, why are people always ahead of me? Maybe I should try harder. But then I ended up feeling burnt out. I was trapped in this cycle of like anxiety, feeling guilty when I try to rest, and then trying to add more things to my to-do list so that I can just be as good as everybody else or even better than everybody else. And I ended up quitting my job because I f every morning when I woke up in the morning, I felt like I was crying before going to work. I would go to the hospital so many times just to get a sick leave because I, I felt like I hated my job. I was going every day and achieving nothing. And so I quit my job and then I managed to move to Germany. I thought that would solve everything like a new place, new beginnings, and then I'll have like a new life. But somehow the same problem kind of just followed me here. So in 2024, I decided to impact better strategies to follow better decisions. And I'm going to share with you how I've kind of like got out of this loop of negativity and comparing myself to other people. So this made me think of the story of the hair and the tortoise who are competing. I don't know if you've heard of the story when you are young. So basically there is a hair and a tortoise. The hair is fast and it kept bragging to everybody about the speed. So the tortoise and all the other animals got fed up. So the tortoise challenged the hair to a race. If you know, a hair, you cannot compare a hair and a tortoise speed. The tortoise is very slow. So for the first story that I had when I was young, the tortoise tricked the hair by using a brother so that one, when it started the race, and then the brother finished the race, so the hair thought it was it was defeated, by it, but it was just it was just tricked. But then the second story I had was that the hair saw that it had left the tortoise behind, so it decided to take a nap, and then the tortoise just came and like passed it. But for both stories, I think. But the most important thing is that we should not brag and that speed is not always the answer. You might be fast, yes. You might be better than everybody else, yes. But then when it, you have ego and it gets into your head, then what is it about? Because you, your ego will end up tripping you and then the people who keep on putting in the work, the people who keep on trying every day, can just like come and surpass you. When I first heard the story, I laughed so much because I thought I was like the tortoise. I was like, I'm gonna grow up, I'm gonna be humble, I'm gonna be smart like the tortoise. But I kind of feel like over time I've become more like the hair. <laughs> I've been reflecting on myself and I think I turned out more like the hair than the tortoise, always bragging about my achievement, always rushing fast so that I can be better than everybody. And then when I don't win or when I don't get what I think I deserve, I become entitled. So like, I started asking myself, when was everything promised to me? When did I start chasing after things that held value to other people, but not value to me? I had this quote that said, are you sure I want to do it? Or do you just want other people to see that you have it? It kind of made me rethink some of my life goals. And then I sat down, I analyzed my goals one by one and came up to the conclusion that some of my goals were not for me. They were for others. They were to show others that I was okay. They were to show others how amazing I was and that I was not struggling. I realized I was making YouTube videos by copying other people's format. I was writing books like other people. I was applying to random jobs just, just to win one and say that, oh, I'm working, yeah. 
I was struggling to lose weight just so that other people can see that I was slim fit and envy me. All of these goals were not for me, they were for other people. So after the analysis, I felt like half of the weight had been lifted off my chest. I could now focus on what made me me. I stopped writing romance books. I'm now focusing on books that make people think and appreciate African culture. I stopped making sense like YouTube videos of now making videos sharing my experiences. I'm still applying for random jobs because at the moment I need to eat. I stopped trying to lose weight and I'm now focusing on being more healthy. So after coming up with the goals that were more personal to me, I decided to come up with an action plan. I watched this video that changed the way I make to-do list. So I would make a list of everything of all my goals and then I'd make a list of everything I need to, uh, to do to achieve those goals. And then after that, I will break down the list into things I need to do every day to achieve the goals. But then I realized I don't have to do all the things each and every day because it kind of gets overwhelming because if you have a list of five or ten things you have to do. So I will only pick three of the most important things to do. I will pick two that were important and like, let's say school or work. And then I'd pick one for my hobbies or creative outlet. So in during the weekdays, I have school, work, and then I have maybe to make a script or maybe to make YouTube videos to edit the video. And then during the weekends, I left my plate open for my writing career because I want to take my writing seriously. I don't know why, but this kind of worked for me. I, I still get panic attacks sometimes, but I'm by doing that little bit every day, it's kind of like the tutorial is adding it a little bit, a little bit, slowly at a time, and then I know one day I'll get to where I want to go. This has kind of helped me. I, I, I was so stuck in my writing career, but now I've written almost 20,000 words. I've gone from overthinking about my videos and I'm, I'm back to making videos. I've gone from stressing about work and I'm applying for more jobs because I came to realize that I can only control what I can do. I cannot control the outcome. So let's say I'm applying for a job. I cannot control whether I'll get the job or not. I can only control the number of jobs I apply for. So I keep applying for many jobs. I keep taking care of myself. I keep writing my books because I can't control who will read my book or not, who will watch my video or not, but I can control the quality of my videos and the quality of my books. So. There is just something about letting go and surrendering to the world that gives you peace and makes you feel calm and makes you feel accepted and helps you not to overthink life. You should check the other thing. You should check the other thing. Can I see yours? It's the same thing. And I asked her, I asked her last time, would she like it? I love it. Run away from Agatha. 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 <laughs> Your animal molest. Molest. At least something you molested. Ooh, what's wrong? I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> Champagne, so pretty. I got that. I know By the way, duck. Vicky! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>